Have you ever come across an influencer and you're just so blown away by how batshit crazy, honestly, that the person is? And you just can't help but think to yourself, how do you have a platform, let alone tons of people who support this? And no, you asswipe. I'm not talking about me. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I just wanted to say, this influencer, if you want to call her an influencer, I think we should start the term outfluencer because she's influencing the outcast. This woman ended up catching scabies and ear mites and just everything you can think of. Ended up catching scabies. Instead of staying home and quarantining and getting rid of the situation, decided to go out into the public, the general public. And then two weeks later, the general public had an outbreak, a scabie outbreak. And everybody's saying Alfaba caused this. For those of you who don't know who Alfaba is, it's okay. Sit down. Take my hand. We're going to go through the pain together. Because this is going to be a painful experience for y'all who don't know who Alfaba is. If you are eating, I highly suggest putting up your snack. Because you're not going to want it too soon into this video. With that being said... Let's meet the creator, if you want to call her that, Alfalba. Ally or is trans. Do you understand how much hit I get now? Can you see these fucking ignorant bastards try, trying to come at me? Horrible people. Horrible disgrace to the human race. I know what you're thinking. What transphobic bigot is still being mean to trans people? And here's the thing. There isn't one. She's just mad. So the situation is that she wasn't allowed into a theater to see Wicked. Because it's Alfaba. She has scabies. I'm sure the general public and even businesses would not allow somebody who has a contamination issue who should be literally in quarantine into a public theater where thousands of people can catch it, including the workers. I'm sure they don't want that. But because she wasn't allowed in to see Wicked, the Wicked premiere, and spread her skin lice, they're just transphobic. They're bigots. You ain't no woman. Yes, I am! Coming for any trans individual, please do not think I am. But this is just a genuine question that I have for any of my subscribers who are and go through the process or even doesn't go through the process and just identifies as that. I just want to say, I am a woman biologically, anatomy, and skeletal-wise, I am a woman. And if somebody would come up to me and say, you're a man, I'm going to be like, eh, okay. You know, and just smile awkwardly and go about my day because I know I'm a woman and I don't feel the need to sit down and scream and defend the fact that I am a woman. So why would somebody such as Alfalba be so upset about being misgendered if she truly feels she's a woman? And that's something that I never fully grasped the concept of. If you aren't delusional, and this isn't just something you're trying to affront that you're putting on or a costume, you're not just cosplaying being a woman. Why, when somebody says you're not, why would that make you so upset? And I'm not being ignorant. It's genuinely just a question and a thought that I've had. Very lady like women shout as well, darling. Go watch Emma down. Why is my identity such a fucking problem to you? Focus on your life that you fucked up and fuck off. Now, genuinely, I think a lot of the people who come at Alfalba and say, you're not a woman, I think it's genuinely just trolls who know what she's going to react this way and that's why they do it. And I mean, honestly, just like Eugenia Cooney thrives on comments about what her disorder and all that, Alfaba thrives on these transphobic comments and eats them up because I don't know if y'all have noticed, but very rarely will she bring up a positive comment. She'll bring up all the hateful ones and address those. And also, if you truly believe you are a woman, why are you not sound in that identity? And why is it getting you so irate when somebody says that you're not? If you truly believed that you was a woman... You wouldn't feel the need to back it up so much. And I'm not being hateful when I say this either, but maybe that's why. And I, I'm not an expert. But if you can't, you know, accept your identity when you was a man and just say, well, I'm a girly man, you're probably not going to accept yourself as a woman. 
Maybe you won't accept yourself as non-binary either. Maybe you won't accept yourself as anything. Because you gotta be happy with yourself first. And Alfalba is just cockroach to society. You have no rights. Daniel, you're hiding behind a fucking screen with no fucking profile pic. Looking like an absolute fucking coward hiding behind. Being a fucking keyboard warrior. Show your fucking face at least before you try and insult someone. Fuck off, you absolute bell and coward cunt. Well, Falba, if you want people to be accepting of you as a human being, not just for your gender or identity, I think you should probably be a nice human being. Maybe show some common decency to the people who are watching your live stream, because those are essentially the people who are supporting you at the time. Whether they support you or not, they're financially supporting you by being tuned into your live stream, so why come at them so damn aggressively? I'm sorry, but she's sitting here asking for respect and, you know, just, ugh. And the situation is, she's not being respectful to anybody. Just cussing everybody out. There's some people who's leaving heart comments and saying like, oh, we love you, sweetie. And she's not even saying it back. She's just ignoring it and only addressing the hate comments being extremely hateful back. I'm sorry, but if you want to win an argument or turn somebody to see your perspective, being hateful and cussing them out, that is not going to get anybody on your side. And I thought, you know, I figured you would know this by now, but this is the same person who literally took raw bacon and ham, threw it in a microwave, and just heated it up. Alphaba literally at this point through all the things that she's ingested that should not have been ingested could probably survive nuclear warfare and chemical weapons. Just 10 out of 10 survival skill, this little cockroach. She's probably honestly not doing anything to get rid of the scabies and just keeping them on her body, thinking her body's just going to grow a natural immunity to it and they're just going to jump off of her and like run for the hill. Now, Alphaba went to McDonald's, the good old Mickey D's, the Golden Arches, and had a, a meltdown again because she wanted to protect trans rights, which... People were just making fun of her for her in general. I mean, she's a special case. So people were just making fun of her for her in general and live streaming, being delusional in public and decided to start picking on her a little bit. And she decided to start screaming this. I'm a proud woman. Don't you come at me. You walk away. Do you want this on you? Do you want this on you? Draw this on you, bitch. The thing about Alfaba and her content is that every Alfaba stream is a literal mental breakdown. I usually find myself being very 50-50 when it comes to watching Alfaba because there's an uh, angel on my shoulder who's like, oh, this poor girl is having a mental breakdown. And then there's the devil on my shoulder thought that's like, uh, why is she platformed? She's a crazy character indeed. And one I'm going to be introducing to the channel we're going to start covering her live stream. <laughs> so with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video.